What's going on there, YouTube? The thing with Twisted 420 has returned. That's right, people. We are back. And here we are, people. We are here for my very first juice review. That's right, people. I am back to the juice reviews. And first up on the docket today is vape juice and their pre-steeped e-liquid line. Yes, vape juice. They got a bunch of lines and a bunch of flavors. Okay, this is the pre-steep line. If the name doesn't describe it already, it's pre-steeped, people. These are 60 mil bottles of e-liquid that you can get for $9.99. 80 VG, 20 PG on the pre-steep line. And I think $9.99, a 60 mil is a really good price. That's very inexpensive. I think that's, that's nice. And the bottles themselves are nice. There's these big, nice unicorn bottles with the uh, plastic needle tips. Uh, the labels aren't super sticky, which makes me happy and really makes Alex happy. He hates those sticky labels. But the packaging looks nice. Everything's nice and labeled. You got your warnings and all that stuff on there. And they include the flavor profile on every bottle. I think that's good. I think that's really good. So yeah, okay, people, this is going to be different, right? Okay, so let me explain what's going to be happening here this first time, and then moving forward, you kind of get an idea. I'm going to be using, uh, today, I'm going to use different stuff every time, but today I'm using the Ohm Industry Zuga Mod with the D-Pro RDA. And in between each flavor, I'm going to be changing out the cotton, and uh, doing the next flavor. Now, some of these flavor of flavors I've already tried, some of them I haven't, but I'm gonna vape on them a little bit and then give my opinion on them, you get it? And depending on how I feel about the flavor, there will be an effect to the video. And initially you're gonna be like, oh, I don't get what those effects mean, but moving forward you will. You, you guys will see, it'll be a whole thing, okay? It'll be a whole thing. And just some quick information on Vape Juice. They're a company from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And the first flavor will be Super Berry Crunch. Super Berry Crunch. It is described as your favorite crunchy cereals combined with a sea of milk and a splash of berries. All right, people, let's go ahead and blast off. So there I am, 13 years old, 1997, sitting there playing Panzer Dragon on Sega Saturn, Saturday morning. Didn't really want to watch any cartoons. Then I decide to eat some cereal, and what do I grab? Motherfucking Captain Crunch Berry, yo. That's what's going on right here. Now here's the thing, on cereal vapes, I look at them from a flavor standpoint, but I also look for the milk. Different cereal vapes have different milks. Let's go ahead and dive into this one again. Yes, yes, there's milk, there's milk. But it's not upfront milk, it's like blended in. It's like the milk that's left over after all the cereal's gone. It's blended cereal milk. It's not overpowering. But I gotta say, if you're into cereal vapes, this one's not too shabby, one more toe. Yeah, 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 straight up crunch berries, yo, straight up crunch berries, I can dig it. All right, people, next up, I figure we just did some cereal. We have another cereal flavor to go here. Let's take a look at Fruitastic. Fruitastic, people, a delicious blend of fruity cereal flavors transform delicate cream notes into an all-day vape you'll have trouble putting down. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. I like the description. Always be sure to shake your juice up, people. Get it nice and mixed before you drip. But let's see what's going on here. Okay, people, Fruitastic. Let's see what she's got. Where the fuck is Toucan Sam? Okay, because what we got right here, people, this is Fruit Loops. This is straight up Fruit Loops. Yeah, crunch berries before it. This is Fruit Loops, and it's it's a pretty good Fruit Loops. Nothing crazy. It's not super overpowering, flavorful, but it, it, it tastes like Fruit Loops. As far as the milk, let me let me dig back in. It 
similar story as the uh, Crush Berry. It's that it's that after cereal milk mixed in there again. But not bad. It, it, good Fruit Loops flavor. It's not bad. Let me, let me see. One more. One more. Let me make sure I got this right. Pretty good Fruit Loops. Not the best Fruit Loops I've had, but a pretty good Fruit Loops. Not bad. All right, people. Next up is blueberry cheesecake. And I think that one is very self-explanatory there. A rich, delicious cheesecake topped with fresh blueberries. All right, sounds good. Let's see what we got here. Nah. Nah, son. I don't like it. I don't like it. I get blueberry. I get the blueberry. That's in there. But the side that's supposed to be the cheesecake, um, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's, it's, it's not right. It's like more of a fruity blueberry than a creamy blueberry, like how it should be, kind of in that vein of desserts. And um, the, the other end of it is like a kind of bitter salted caramel almost. It's weird. But, um, no, I can't, I can't quite get jiggy with this. No, the blueberry cheesecake is a no-go from. Let me try one more time just to make sure. Yeah, that's, that's not a, it's not a very good juice in my opinion. All right, people, next up is moon fruit. Moon fruit. On the dark side of the moon, there is a patch of land that mysteriously grows tropical fruits and melons. Okay, all right. Let's see what's going on. I like the fruit flavor, so this should be good. Let's see what's up. Okay. So basically, melons is the name of the game. Big, juicy melons. That's what I'm getting. There's something else though. There's melons and a touch of something. I just gotta dig for it and find it. <sighs> melons and maybe a touch of guave. I don't know. I think mainly just melons though. If you like melon flavor, this is straight up melon. Not honeydew, not water, but melon. <laughs> Oh, that melon really gets you. But yeah, that's not bad. If you like melons, you like that. And I, I like melon flavor. So yeah, overall, not too shabby. All right, people. And last but not least, we have sweet tarts. Sweet tarts. Take a trip to the candy shop with this classic candy flavor. Taste the sweet and tart flavors featuring a blend of candy fruit flavors. That was a lot of uh, the word flavor used a lot there. Good Lord. Okay. So anyway, yeah, sweet tarts, people. Let's go ahead and go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, very nice, very nice. Uh, the sweet tarts, uh, the name would imply sweet tarts, just dead on, right? Tastes just like Smarties, as a matter of fact. Now, me, myself, I love candy flavors, I love fruit flavors. This is a good one if you are into either of those two. Dead on Smarties. Yeah, 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 it's Smarties in liquid form, okay? All right, people, so yes, that was all the flavors and everything, and now we're gonna get to a, a scaling. I'm gonna speak a little bit on uh, what I thought about the uh, liquid and the company, and then I'll tell you about each flavor, what I thought, okay? Now, first of all, I like the bottles. I think the bottles are nice. I like the child-resistive caps. Those are good, okay? I like the whole idea of pre-steep. You don't have to worry about steeping your juice. You, what you get right out of the box is that liquid at its best. So that's pretty cool. And $9.99 for a 60 mil, very affordable, very handsome price, okay? Now, as far as the flavors themselves, now, Superberry Crunch and Fruitastic, I'm gonna be grading together. They're both cereals and they're both kind of similar. I give both of them a six out of 10. Yes, we're doing one through 10 as far as our scales. That's what we're gonna be using. As far as Blueberry Cheesecake, it was not good to me. I gotta give that a one out of 10. It just, it just did not taste good. And if that's the best it's gonna taste, I'm, I'm not up for it. <laughs> Moon fruit, moon fruit, pretty good tasty melon uh, flavor. I'm gonna give that one a seven out of 10. I think moon fruit is a good melon flavor if you're into melon. And last but not least, sweet tarts, which I give an eight out of 10. 
very good candy flavor. More like Smarties and Sweet Tarts, but very, very good candy flavor. And that's it, people. That's uh, that's my first juice review. Feels good to be back. I look forward to doing some more of them. We're going to have some fun with them and do some things. It'll be interesting. But I'll put links in the description if you want to go look around, get some vape juice, take gander. I don't give a shit. But I did tell you, and I think we all know that has to be worth something. It truly does. It truly does. So really, folks, with that being said, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. And remember, doesn't matter what juice you're vaping on, as long as you're not on the stinkies. That's what counts. And last but not least, <laughs> you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and this vape juice review, we're out. Vaping saves more lives than David Swimmer. <laughs>